Oh, guys. Ugh. I got a burp. I'm still stopped up a little bit in my nose. But other than that, I got Mike O's. Mike O's package in the mail today. Uh, asked him to stay on the lookout since he's busted tops. Series 1 from 2017. The World Series cards from this year. Or the World Series highlights. So he says, okay, that's cool. Appreciate you telling me. I just happened to have some right here. So Mike, appreciate you doing that for me. You're a scholar and gentleman, sir. <coughs> so there are four cards. <coughs> Uh, game. What game one did they get? Game one. Uh, Mr. Chapman. Mr. Chapman. World Series pitch. Uh, game two, Jake Arena. Now, these are the games that they won, not the games that they lost. Games. Three, four, and five, they lost. Game six, Addison Russell. And game eight, which is the last game, or game seven. Let's see here. Game one. Game one. Oh. Okay, one game two, which is right here. Three, four, and five, they lost. They won game one, two, three, and four, they lost. Game five, which is right here, game six, which is Addison Russell, and game seven, which is the team, the team. Card. So, Mike, I really appreciate that. I will send these off to PSA ASAP and I will sh reveal them when they get back. <coughs> oh, they all come back to The last ones I see in here all come back to except for one. And somebody offered me some pretty good money for the nine. At the time, it was the hype thing. You know, people wanted it because it's the only one out there. And the card's only a pity. Only well, books a pity. Really don't understand that, why people do that. The card books a pity. And he offered me a good amount, way over a pity. For it, of course, I cost me six dollars to get it graded, but but um, it was way more than half. Let's put it that way. Um, Rippy, <laughs> RippyWax.com. 
Club C5. <coughs> Damn. I didn't think I won this much. Look at this. I didn't think I won that much. Holy shit. Damn. Those are some big cards. I like these little things they put over here. <laughs> okay. Oh, got the sevens flap on there. Anybody knows what that is? I like that idea. You got some space between your cards. <coughs> Okay, you guys ready for this? Are you ready? I said, are you ready? I think this is the best patch of all times I've ever had. Boom. Check it out. I have never owned a patch that good looking. This one bitch is numbered to 25. Sweet. Armory. Wow. It's got a little bit of dirty, dirty down here, too. So, what we got here is a piece of jersey on the top. The lettering from his jersey in the middle. Um, I would say... Part of his glove, maybe, because it's rubbery. Part of his glove, and the second part, the second patch part, has to be either the top part of his glove or another part of the rubbery, and then the bottom. I have no idea. We look, I can't see that letter. It says, do not bleach, do not dry clean, uh, use softener. <laughs> God, and it has it spelled in Spanish. Oh my God, that's funny. Oh God. <laughs> Probably his underwear. I don't know, it doesn't feel like clothes. I have no earthly idea. But anyway, that's bad as hell right there. I like that. That is sweet nastiness. <laughs> okay. <coughs> you think something will top that? Mike Evans from the Buccaneers, number 25, RPA playbook. Sweet. Number 25. Number 12, sweet five. Yeah. I think that's. This is, has to be the top break of the year for me because I've never hit anything like this. I mean, it's not really like an auto or anything like that. 
the the, the patches, man. I've never owned anything with patches that nice. I'm glad he sort of put these. He's got to go to Beckett. I thought this one was autoed because just by the way the breaker was talking. And he put these, he put these in it to keep it from rattling on the inside. I might have to keep those as soon as Beckett. And this one's numbered to 25 also. All three of them are numbered to 25. I might just razz them all at one time. Because that would be the holy, holy, whatever, surprise for everybody. But that would be sweet. There. That is sweet. I don't think this one is good. It's one color, two color, three color, four color, five color patch on the right and on the left is a one color jersey. But I thought for sure it was going to be numbered because it was like this. But I mean, I've never been to one to like booklets. But getting one like this sort of makes me want to get some more for my PC. I mean, if I see something like this for my PC, <laughs> I don't know. I think I might save that till Thursday. I mean, uh, the weekend to razz off. But, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what I want for them. All three of them are numbered to 25. I know they'll bring pretty, pretty good money. But, uh, 325 equals 75. That's pretty good money right there. $75 for all three of them. Sounds good to me. Somebody offer it up. <laughs> <coughs> $75. Could be one of these kind of dealers on eBay. $300. Buy it or best all. Somebody offered me 25 for one of them. Bad. Right. But, uh, so how did you guys like the Super Bowl? Um, I thought it was a good Super Bowl. Probably the best one I've ever seen between two teams. First one in history to go into overtime but in my lifetime. I don't know about anybody else's. But uh, Brady, I really think that Brady told his people to let the, let the Falcons <coughs> let the Falcons play really, really hard, and wear themselves out. Because in the fourth quarter, he acted like the Tom Brady that we all know. And he played his heart out that last quarter. I mean, that last quarter was like, God, uh, Mr. <coughs> comeback kid. <coughs> the comeback kid. The hero, if you will. But, uh, I mean, I'm not one to say anything bad about anybody because... You know, we're all human. And we all make mistakes. And if Tom Brady deflated footballs on purpose, he must have learned from it because the Lord God Jesus wouldn't have gave him this win if he wasn't a true Christian. So think about that. Godspeed. Be good to one another and just 